Hi guys, this is Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life and today I have a tablescape decor video for you today. Come on in! This is a collab put together by Sonia over at Domestic Diva Home. Sonia actually has three channels. She has this Domestic Diva Home channel, she has a DIY channel, and she has a cooking channel. So you're going to want to check her out. And we're done when you're done watching my video, check the playlist down below and I will put it in the end screen as well as Sonia's channel and you can click on that and watch it. Okay, so when you walk in my front door, you see the entryway, and then the library is to the left, and my master bedroom is to the right, and then the dining room is right in front of you. And I show you the little bit of my gingerbread decor in the entryway, and my cocoa bar in the library. And so if you would like to see those videos, make sure you subscribe and check out my Countdown to Christmas series. actually already decorated my dining room but that was like about a week or a week and a half ago and I've been tweaking it here and there I totally changed it at some point because I had some buffalo check ribbon which I was using this year in other parts of my house but I decided that wasn't going to work here plus all the dishes that I took out of the hutch have not come out of there since last year and they're very dusty and dirty so i just placed them on the table without washing them so now i have to take everything off and uh, wash that and put it back so this year i'm going to do a little bit more simple tablescape because i want to feature these dishes that were my mother-in-law's they're the friendly village um, dishes from Johnson Brothers. They are from the 60s and 70s. I believe she gave me her set and then I added to it from pieces that I got off of eBay. You'll see some markings on here are green right there and then some pieces are red. I think the green pieces are from the 60s and the red pieces are from the 70s. Don't quote me on that. I am not an authority on these kind of things but I just wanted to add some more pieces to what my mother-in-law gave me so I went on eBay and bought a few more pieces so that I had a set of 20 for dinner. Okay I'm just going to undo everything and then I'm going to wash the dishes which I'm not going to show you you don't need to see that and I'm gonna dust the table really good So in my countdown to Christmas series, I am doing mostly cleaning and decorating. I'm going to use my maker's cleaning cloth and I'm going to use some method wood polish. I don't usually polish every week. I will just dust with a wood cleaner and then I polish uh, maybe once a month, once every couple months. So it needs a good polishing and I really like the maker's cleaning cloth. They came from um, Melissa and Chad over at um, what is it clean my space I believe that's the name of the channel okay all clean and now I'm just going to put the table runner on there I just have a burlap table runner plain burlap table runner with a little bit of lace on the top of it because again I want the dishes to be the feature of this tablescape 
Now I am placing these candlesticks on the table. I absolutely love them. I found them at Goodwill for $15 a couple years ago that I showed in a $5 Goodwill challenge from Hillary at my old world home. They were an ugly black color. I chalk painted them white and then I distressed them with some sandpaper and I absolutely love them. Now I am using these wood rounds. I usually put decor on them on either end of the table, but I decided to do something a little bit different this year. The rounds come from, I think two of them came from Target and one of them came from Marshalls. I am going to make a three-tiered tray out of these rounds. I have some candlesticks that I decided that I was going to paint them. I actually was going to paint them white and chalk paint them, um, but I decided I wanted to add a little bit of copper. So I spray painted these copper and I'm using them as the tiers on the tray. I actually think I got these candlesticks from the Goodwill. I'm not really sure. I actually painted them green because I was going to use them for my breakfast nook tablescape and then I changed my mind. And I decided to paint them this copper color, which I picked up the copper spray paint from Home Depot. And guys, I am using things that I already have. I don't believe I bought anything new except for these fairy lights. I got these fairy lights off of Amazon. They are super great deal. You get a package of 12 of them and they give you like six free batteries with that. The batteries alone would cost, I think it's $13.99 for the set. And yeah, it's a good deal. Get yourself some, I'll put the link down below. And these cute little uh, reindeer and sleighs and snowman I got for many years ago and they're kind of rustic looking and I'm going to use them on the tiered tray for decor. Okay, I'm going to use these white and red placemats for, I'm just going to put four place settings and I'm putting some reindeer on the end of the table runner that I have picked up a couple years ago because I kind of got a little reindeer theme going on here. Okay, on to the place setting. So first is the dinner plate. And this particular scene is called Schoolhouse, I believe. So those are the dinner plates. And I'm gonna put one on each table setting. And then I'm going to put some bowls and those are called the covered bridge. Each different piece is a different pattern. I really like that. I just really like the patterns. I think they're very nice. And these are the bread and butter plates. And I believe this one is called the ice house. Is that what that's called? No, it's the sugar maples. Teacups are yet another pattern. And I believe, are those ones the ice house? I love that they have the little print on the inside of the teacup. Okay, and now for the goblets. Yeah, they look a lot better since I watched them. They were quite uh, dusty and dirty and smudged. So I placed those around at each setting. And this is a platter 
that I'm going to put here. I also have some serving ware. So this one is called the Village Green. And then I have a cake stand. Now in the comments below, if you have this dinnerware, I know I have showed it in the past and many of you said that you have had it handed down from your mother or your mother-in-laws. And actually my friend Amber uh, over at Authentically Amber, she has a set and she told me a story that I didn't know, that it this dinnerware was actually inspired from the gorge at in New Hampshire. The what was it called? The Rocky Gorge? No. The Flume Gorge. It was called the Flume Gorge. And Hubby and I have been there several times. And so has Amber. And I thought that was awesome. So there's definitely a lot of covered bridges and things like that um, around the Flume Gorge and at the Flume Gorge. So I thought that was a pretty neat story behind that. And I have a little gravy boat here too. And I also have this little tea set with the sugar and the creamer, and I absolutely love that. One piece that I would really like to have, well, sort of, kind of, I don't need it, I guess, is the butter dish, but it's ridiculous. It's $100 on eBay, so I am not ready to spend that on that one piece. And I have a, another platter here. This is a tiered tray that I have to put together every Christmas and I can never figure out how to do it. It is too tall to fit in my hutch so I have to take it apart to put it back together. And each tier is a different scene. I just am loving all these dishes. I think they're quite nice. I actually think I got it on the first try this year, although it's a little bit wobbly and I figure out how to tighten it up and I think we're good to go. Another touch of copper with this copper ice bucket. Okay, I have one more piece, but I needed to move some things around to make room for that. And that is my copper tier trade that I DIY'd. I spray painted it copper. And to add a little more touch of copper to the tablescape, it was one of those galvanized um, tier trays that you get from Hobby Lobby. And it was looking a little sad and had some rust marks. So I think that turned out really nice and I forgot one thing I forgot the napkins so I'm going to place some napkins some red and white napkins and I layered some of them and I'm just showing you what the whole tablescape looks like now Again, guys, don't forget to check the playlist below and I will have it on the end screen and check out Sonia's channel, her three channels. And I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of what is coming up tomorrow. So you might want to subscribe so you don't miss another video.
In tomorrow's video, the girls come over to help me put up the Christmas tree and we have a little sleepover fun. So stay tuned and see my face right there. Click that and subscribe and see Sonia's face right there. Click to her channel and subscribe. And don't forget to click the playlist and watch that too. Until next time, guys. Enjoy.